In this video, I'm going to show you how you can feel good about math right now. I want you to think, and think hard, what is the first math class that you remember taking? What is the very first one? Not, not the first college class, but like the first class you ever took in math when you were a little kid. Think back. Think back to the math that you were doing at that point in your life. Maybe you remember learning to add numbers, or maybe you remember the multiplication tables. That's what I remember. I remember being, I think it was seventh grade, and I remember being really good at multiplying numbers. You might say, seventh grade? You're multiplying numbers in seventh grade? That's what you're doing? Yeah, that's what I was doing in my seventh grade class. There's people who do calculus in seventh grade now, I think. It's completely ridiculous, but that's not what this video is about. It's not about comparing yourself to others. It's about looking back and thinking, what was the first class you took, your first mathematical experience? Okay, think about it. What were you doing? Now, think about where are you now? What, what are you doing now in your life? What, how much have you accomplished mathematically since then? And I bet it's a great deal. If you remember solving equations and now you're taking calculus, that is a big leap. That is an accomplishment. So you can feel good about yourself because you've made it this far. And because you've made it this far, you can make it even farther. I mean, why not? What's the difference between progressing from the level you are at to the level you've accomplished now to where you are now to where you want to be? Well, you might say, oh, it's harder the farther you go. It is. It is. But you have the tools necessary to get there, right? Because you've already made it halfway there. So feel good about your accomplishments. Take care.